Here. Boy. Yes, sir. There's a scroll here. It belonged to the sun. Wow. This goes on and on. Father, forgive me. Filled with remorse. Forget my actions. Hmm. Had he thought before taking action, there would be no need for regret, yes? Yeah. Maybe we should bring this to his father. Back at the store. Dock here. I have a question. If Ymir was the first giant, where did he come from? Enough. No stories. How Back did he go well on foot. Stronghold? Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish later, lad. We found your whetstone. Oh! Wonderful! This staining is unusual. The Reavers used it to smash another Reaver's face in. Oh. Wonderful. Here, for your trouble. I can't... Wait to test out the new whetstone. It may not look like much, but it's practically humming with magic. I've needed a new one after my brother borrowed the last one. I saw him spit on it. To lube it up, he said. I didn't ask for it back. What speaks to you? Oh, no, we can't forget you. What more do you need?
I'm, uh, I'm feeling less cluttered already. Is there something else? Ah. Hey, here. Can you start that story again from before? If I recall, we had begun to discuss the origin of Imia, the first giant. In the beginning, there was Ganungagop, the great void. There were no realms yet, only primordial forces. There was fire, and there was ice. And there in the void, they met and produced... Water? More than water. The mystic lifeblood of something entirely new. From this water... Ymir took form and became a being of pure creation and chaos, mother and father to all that came after. Even the Aesir? Aye. Every god, man and beast came first from Ymir's flesh. Though it was the Aesir who thought themselves so superior that they should hold dominion over the rest of creation. It was Odin who took arms against his creator and spilled Ymir's lifeblood with his spear. A necessary evil, he would say, to bring order to the realms. Ymir's torn flesh, Odin would fashion the realm of Midgard for his own. Called himself All-Father, as if he was the creator, and not the creator's destroyer. A small, covetous tyrant. Ymir? Huh? Oh, sorry, my boy. Ah, uh, you know, I think at best we just... End Tears braziers, a symbol of the light that binds all realms together. Why would he use those strange runes, though? Now you mention it, he wouldn't. Huh. We've seen these runes before, but it's the kind I still can't read.
dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Ed, you are full of stories. When will you tell one that entertains? I beg your pardon? You just insulted me. Yeah, I got that. So you want a corker, do you? Very well, my brothers. I'll tell you the story of Brunia, the brawler. The real story. There was a huge battle, right? His shrine had him in the middle, fighting off Ace. A pretty story, but no. Brungnir, you see, was born with neither head nor heart, so the giants had to complete him with stone. He was strong, to be sure, but also a perfect simpleton. Odin met him wandering in Midgard one day, found him so amusing, so harmless, so gullible, that he invites him back to his palace in Asgard. There he gives Brungnir his fill of mead, and goads him into all manner of boasts and antics, all for the amusement of the court. I was there. I saw the Aesir laugh as Hrungnir leapt upon his shield and swore he'd kill us all and take our womenfolk back to Jotunheim. Then Thor shows up. And does he laugh? Oh, no. Thor takes one look at the drunken stone buffoon and brings down Mjolnir on his head so hard that he's got chunks of Hrungnir in his own skull to this day. Thor is so startled by the face full of rock he doesn't notice Rhaenyra's body topple right onto him with a sickening crunch. And again, the roars of laughter echo through the palace halls. That's an awful story, Mimir. Nothing like the one's mother told me. Let that be a lesson, my son. Truth is seldom so pretty as myth and legend. wondered what became of him. Wait, Fafnir? Like, Fafnir's storeroom Fafnir? 
of anyone. But Sindri said he was a dwarf. He was. <laughs> now he's a dragon. Funny how life works, isn't it? <laughs> he's chained up. Perhaps we should keep an eye out for binding shrines and free the poor bastard. Hi, lads. <laughs> become a dragon, Mimir. Oh, he's no friend of mine. This little scrot was a constant source of annoyance amongst Aesir and Vanir alike. Then why free him? Trust the recently liberated brother. No one deserves to be held captive like this. Even a greedy little dwarf come dragon. <laughs> Question then. How did this dwarf become a dragon? I don't know for certain, though I'd wager his penchant for stealing magical artifacts had something to do with it. Must have stolen a trinket from the wrong Vanir goddess.
Oh, you wee little bugger. Well, I think Dragon hasn't done much for his personality. Taken from this realm too early. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sather magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy, I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Bones pulse with magic. It must be Golvi. Could we... Could we just hold on to it? Maybe we'll find the rest of them. This spirit lies to you, boy. How would you know? I have no mean spirits. They are all liars. This one is different. I know it. You know very little. over here.
Are you okay? No, son. My goods are underwater. My men are drowned, and yet their bodies continue to walk the beaches. Hellwalkers. They plague these lands. I was their captain. They died because of me. But these abominations sully their memories. I will find a way to free them from their tortured state. In this, I am determined. The thunderstorm scattered all three of my ships across the lake. I know not what I did to anger Thor. But his judgment was swift and brutal. Boy, over here. Sir! Another map! That will find something useful here. Govig's bones. What will you say to her? To Govig? Your mother. What have you left unsaid? I... I guess... I just want to know if she's okay. She is dead, boy. I know that! I... You don't understand. Neither do you. Hey, look! A torch! A torch is built with wood. That is a brazier. A... brazier... Hmm. Looks like there's something written on it. Want me to read it? Kavekia. Perceptive and reckless. 
Take caution when lighting these braziers. Sather and Hellwalkers will swarm to the flames like moths. I assume we have you to thank for freeing us from a watery grave. Us? Other spirits. The Lake of Nine is full of them. Most are able to move on from this realm. But we, lucky few, are stuck here in Midgard until our affairs are in order. Perhaps you can help them as well. We have no desire to help you, spirit. Ah, but you already have. I only wished to see the sky again. Farewell. Oh, he disappeared. Come, let us not be distracted. A wolver. A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. to next. <laughs> so, I guess we should keep an eye out for other spirits. What did I say about distractions? But it sounds like they needed help. They are spirits, boy. Dead things. They have no needs, only wants. It feels wrong to ignore them. We will get over these feelings. Mom would have wanted to help them. What was that, boy? Nothing. I thought as much. Yeah. We might as well return them to the spirit. Maybe he will keep his word. I know and... she's not coming back, okay? I know. I just... Never mind. I just...
Let's go return the bones. I wonder why Bobby's bones are all over the place. Desecration, typically. Pieces of scattered corpse make for a piss-poor soul. No hope for Valhalla or Helheim when your arm's on one beach and your head's on another. Why not ask the spirit? I'm sure he will be forthcoming with answers. Those guys part of his crew? That's a tough crew. And all were his responsibility. That's a lot of responsibility. Does it frighten you? Uh responsibility. Oh, uh no. I don't think so. I mean, I think it used to, but not as much anymore. Why is that? Well, being out here with you makes me feel more grown up. Tears braziers, a symbol of the light that binds all realms together. Why would he use those strange runes, though? Now you mention it, <laughs> he wouldn't. Oh. Kabekia! Well, worth a shot.
seriously. How did this one captain lead so many men? He had their loyalty, so they followed. And then they all died. He must have been a bad leader. Why do you think that? Well, he led all these men to their deaths. True. But these men chose to follow. Hmm. Even good leaders make poor choices. The best take responsibility for them. Remember this. Boy, over here. Yes, sir. Wonder who wrote this. another brazier. I suppose you wish to light it. Can I? Gvegia. <laughs> Another spirit. Yes, another spirit. Hello. I can't remember the last time I saw something walk these islands that wasn't dead or corrupted. What do you mean? A desolation, child. Plagues this land, growing more severe with each passing winter. Do you know its cause? Not for certain, but I suspect the appearance of the World Serpent, along with the great flood that followed. Many were drowned, myself among them. The dead began to walk not long after. Do you need anything from us? Boy, I only wish to speak to someone again. A wish you have just granted. Thank you.
Ah, more of those. Good. Almost. If we could just find the other pieces of the language, there's 